come on. I would have thought there for sure. Yeah, that's the brown. Right off the bank, just like a brown should be. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Really gorgeous fish. It was kind of a mixed bag and <laughs> you know now we're what 12 uh, degrees which is like mid 50s you know fahrenheit and howling wind howling in the wind. northwest yeah, we got cold wind. 50 mile an hour winds yeah. today 80 km an hour headwinds uh, apparently gusts didn't go 100 but we'll see this is nuts yeah we'll see how long we last yeah i bet this will be a streamer day <laughs> yeah. that's my hey, guess you never know you <laughs> might you might stick to a hopper you might get lucky you just don't know sometimes yeah. the best uh terrestrial days are the windy days this windy well i don't know there's pretty good waves on the flat water here that's the thing eh? so it's going to be streamers or it's going to be terrestrials and it's going to be small stream fishing in troughs and undercuts for rainbows and browns that's right absolutely we're just going to take it on as best as we can today <laughs> and guys you know i just wanted to know we have some courses on our website um fly how to fly fish a uh, small stream small to medium trout streams everything that we've ever uh, learned, we've shared in that course, and there's a lot of meaty content in that one. So go and check that one out. We also have a free course of fly fishing undercut banks. Um, so check that one out too. All right. So we got about five, 600 cows over here. I don't mm -hmm. think we have much chance until we get above the fence. <laughs> Maybe one. Maybe one acclimatized rainbow, but that's about it. Cows are just going. Oh boy, they're all through here. We're in for a ride, I'm afraid. It was quite a year for this stream. Incredibly high water in spring, rearranged in stream gravel dynamics. This was chased out by a ridiculously hot summer with no rain. On this trip, it quickly became obvious that the trout were only going to be found in chest deep water with decent flow. That was in very short supply in this reach of water. Like this was the spot last year where, like right here. Yeah. It's funny because with any amount of water and more water in this creek and this is all good stuff, but what's the limitation to carrying capacity? Well, this is it. Drought. What's funny is that you're gonna take one cast and catch a fish. Here he comes. Yep, 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 yep. I saw him on the, he was holding underneath that. He was holding underneath that stick or that willow. And that's trouble. Come on, fish. Oh, oh no. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to hold him there. 
I'm gonna have to hold them there and bring them all the way back around that. Isn't that amazing? Oh boy. I gotta go after that one. Yeah, I saw him holding there. Oh, he's way upstream. And that's, I've got one chance here. That's only if this stick will lift. Only if this stick will lift. Oh yeah, come on now. There it is. Okay, come on now. I've got a chance. Oh, I've got a chance. Oh, 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 what a boil. It's a really heavy fish. I saw him underneath that willow right there. And I just punched my streamer in there and he absolutely came and crushed a downstream take. This is a fat, heavy fish. Uh-oh. He's on a stick over there now. Ah. I'm just getting my butt handed to me here. Holy, am I getting my butt handed to me. This will be a miracle fish if this guy comes in. There's no way. Oh, there he is too. Oh, keep that low. Wow, he's a heavy fish. How did that come off that stick? Wow, how did that come off that stick? <laughs> yeah, 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 come on, girl. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. yes what a fish. <laughs> oh, that took forever to find. <laughs> Wicked. Oh yeah, yeah man. Cool. <laughs> Let's really go cool. down and up. Okay, well, Let's just get a pan of that. Yeah. yeah. Wicked. Gorgeous. All right, guys. So, man, that took some doing. We had to get past about I don't know 600 yards of <laughs> of cows. There had to be 500 cows in the field. They're just waiting for weaning tomorrow. Uh, I guess they're gonna do that and. Everybody's lined up, ready to go for that, but that didn't help the fishing cause. And we had to get above, we had to get above because those cows were trampling everything. And we had to get above that. As soon as we got above that, it's like, ooh, hey, that one chase. Hey, that got a little guy there. I got a little guy there. And then nothing. And this is just one of our favorite little outturned bends here. And as I was coming along, it was like cast, 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 cast. And then I, I was just talking mid-sentence with Amelia across the river and I looked up here right underneath my rod tip and i was like ooh, and i just flipped it in there because it was just this submerged kind of ghostly um green backed blue kind of yeah that's a good rainbow pitched it in there what a fight what a heavy fight it was epic i love that fight i almost got my ass handed to me there and then as I, I had to get my line unwound from underneath that stick lift the stick pull my line out meanwhile the tension's still there and then i'm underneath this stick here and i don't know it had gone up, up upstream and around that stick and into the covey and i got up here and i was like really he didn't go back downstream if that fish had gone back downstream i mean look at all the sticks he went from here around that into the covey if he goes that way, I'm screwed, but he, he decided to come this way. And see, you have to be lucky. And I got lucky. What a fish, though. You know, 3X, just 3X with a miniature little sparkly minnow thing. Uh, nothing real sexy, guys, at all. Tungsten, uh, tungsten bead, oversized tungsten bead, a splitty, and basically a spun deer hair head over top of copper crystal flash genius stuff i know yeah no it got in there and what i saw up on the bank was just smack flutter down fish charge out you know it's like yeah here he comes boofa awesome stuff go with the old streamer. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Up, pause, place. Wiggle, wiggle. I will. Oh, that was fish. Yeah, fish on. He feels about maybe 14 or so. No, maybe not quite. 12. Cool. <laughs> That's 10. <laughs> there you go guys. After that fish we decided to simply high grade. The fish weren't shallow and slow water was deserted. We picked up several smaller trout but it was clear the larger fish were in that prime water. Onward we marched. If they're anywhere in here it's gonna any cast down the middle of this should work just because there's 
no other place for them to possibly be. No depth, no structure, no fish, no movement. Like remember that huge brown that was in here last year? And then that big rainbow. Like it's just not the same, not even close. So we're at that time of the day where do you keep doing what you're doing, stick to the plan, or do you change everything up and then what? That's just it. I think you have to kind of stick to the plan. I think you focus on the best water and we know that's waist deep water. Right? And I think, you know, what we normally last year, okay, normally last year, um, that changes. Uh, last year, this would have been an eight hour fish up to our friend's place. It's turning into about a four hour fish up yeah. to our friend's place. No, I think you take the day as it comes because you know what, again, it's not always about the fishing. You don't know when you're gonna see, have a really neat bird moment. You don't know when you're gonna have a neat sky moment for a time lapse. I mean, anything can transpire or a great fish. And it's just, you know, you got, you got to stick to things. It may not turn out all roses, right? But I think when you <laughs> stick, as we both know, yeah. there is a moment of magic that can happen if you stick it out. All right. Let's go see if we can move a brown trout. Let's go see if we can see a fish. It just feels like ancient times since I've touched the fish. Yeah, just gonna do long casts, long leader to the far bank, I think, or at least within spitting distance of it. That's really, really, really low water gonna have to be a cruising fish along that far depth of water there. Yeah, I saw him come right off the bank. Oh no, that hurts, right off the bank. He came back. I wondered if he would. Gorgeous brown. Right underneath that bank. Yep. I just was heartbroken when he popped off, but it was a straight at me because it was a lazy off the bank take and he came right out at me. The second one, he absolutely came up and rolled on it. Oh, thank you. Hey, it did. Sweet fish. Wow. Thank you. I don't care if I landed or not at this point. This was just... There you go. Exactly. I don't care if I landed or not. That was just so nice to finally see, you know? Yeah, those are the ones that you just say, yeah, you know, if I land them or not. It was just so nice to finally see a head come up off the bank and both were kind of at and, and turn, but not really a turn. The first one was just a straight right at me take and what are you gonna do with that well you set the hook as long to lay as you can you know 20 inch probably a three and a half uh, maybe a 22 inch female but it was a stunning take and the second take i knew i just pulled it out on that first take and then i smacked it right back in there and that's where it came up around and up and just kind of at me on that it was a really bizarre angle but it was a better hook set that to go around so yeah just gorgeous Maybe see another one up here? Oh, maybe. Yeah. It's, it's such a good bank, this one. Yeah, it is. It gives oh, well. me more hope. Yeah. No, after a really hard trying day, it was like, yeah, even when I was fighting, it was like, I don't even care if I land this fish. Well, of course I didn't. But even if, you know, you don't land the fish, that was worth just sticking it out for. Amelia called it about half an hour ago. Stick with it. There's going to be a bit of magic that comes along, and that was awesome. Well, if there's one brown, there's got to be one more fish over there. Such a reliable outturn bank though, isn't it? Just absolutely epic fish. It just lit up the bank, hey? Oh, it just did. Yeah. But that's the kind of fish that you just go, yep, where has he been all day? Well, he's been in water that's at least waist chest deep. That's where it's been all day. Waiting right here for us to finally show up. So now it's just banging a foot off the bank, banging a foot off the bank, and banging a foot off the bank. It's not hard to understand. Brown trout speak. Can't just be the one fish in here looking for it, you know? There's too many hoppers and beetles not to have another fish. 
Oh yeah, that took, that took hard and heavy. After you tricked yeah, pick up and catch. yeah, I, I remember we've caught fish in the middle of this bucket before, and I just knew that sometimes they just crushed water boatmen last year. And there's a hopper that just landed on the water. I mean, you tell me if this is a water boatman or a back swimmer or a, or a hopper, but he crushed it. Yeah. Absolutely crushed it. Okay. Yep. So there are a few fish in the pot. You just got to be chest deeper, deeper, apparently. Stunning, stunning rainbows in here today. Nice. Absolutely. Look at how fast she is. Just letting it sit. Twitch. Sit and twitch. Oh yeah, sit and twitch all right. Jeez, eh? Okay guys, <laughs> so a whole bunch of things just happened. <laughs> um, waited all day for water that was chest deeper, deeper. Why is that important? Drought. Um, this area, this region has been an insane drought all year. It's now middle, late September and the water's cool. It's a spring creek, so that's not a problem. And a bunch of things happened there. Um, willows and alders and aspen will harden off and what that means is you have to understand in a tree's process it sucks up moisture from the ground and basically sucks that moisture up and if you look on the underside of leaves of birch aspen alders willows all that stuff on the underside that's very porous and that basically allows moisture out the photosynthesis side is faces the sun but that underside that is where the tree breathes or the shrub breathes and that process is called evapotranspiration and basically the fluid from the ground is sucked up and it transpires through the underside of the leaf and that's why so much moisture and so much water is sucked up in in really heavily bushed line streams late fall the tree the shrub whatever uh, hardens off and that's why the leaves turn yellow it's a hardening off process and basically the, the the plant stops sucking up moisture and when that happens it's hard to comprehend but if you think about a stream like this that is about 50 kilometers of winding through bush to its headwater springs 50 kilometers or 30 miles maybe 40 miles who knows um of, of, of a valley you know a few hundred yards across that's a lot of plants sucking and when that basically stops sucking and they harden off for the fall and in, in the winter well that creek starts to come up this particular creek will come up an inch two inches of depth because all of those plants stop sucking moisture and when that happens then you really have all that cold water from the headwater spring flushing through water comes up but because this water has been so droughty all summer these fish are in shoulder deeper deeper water and all day for the last what two miles hey mm -hmm. I, and we haven't seen a dang thing we saw the one good rainbow but amelia is actually out fishing me by numbers but little guys in those little pockets we needed the water where those bigger fish could take refuge in the summer and now they're happy and active because plants trees shrubs have all hardened off the water flows a little bit higher the water's cooler the 
back swimmers and water boatmen are out especially on days like this. And it, it's not the small little water boat, and we've seen a few of those today, but it's those back swimmers, um, those bigger bugs that the, the fish really love. When they hit the water, it's a smack. And then it's a, and they've got those legs, twitch, 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 twitch. Well, that's why I've got the beetle on. I mean, you guys have seen the same damn beetle all summer in these videos. Guess what I'm fishing again? Now I'm just fishing it differently because I smack it. Now I twitch, twitch, twitch across the surface and boofa. <laughs> or in the brown trout's case, they want it. So that's that's what we finally found the water. We finally found the fish and we're giving them the twitchy twitchy that they want and it's working finally. After, you know, it's only 5.30, we started what, at 12.30? Five hours later, we finally found the water and found the fish. It happens. Okay guys, so I'm on the rod now and I'm hopeful because we have caught good fish in the next S band ahead of me here. Um, and but you never know, I mean, Dave, I'm hoping they're not all in the really deep, deep stuff that Dave was just in. Um, I'm hoping that I have a chance ahead of me here. And so, yeah, I'm gonna give it a good solid go. But the best, the best water when it comes to depth is definitely up off of Dave's bank there. Oh, you just get in that place where you're just so anticipating. Oh yeah, that, wow. Okay, well that fish flipped right over top of it. Pop it back in there. More aggressively, hey? Okay, there, he ate it, nice. I wanna say that one's gotta be in that 16 anyway. Sweet, man. Yep. Maybe better. Yeah, that's a better fish. That's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Come on. Keep it above. I don't know what kind of weeds I got in front of me, but that's awesome. Find the depth, man. Find the fish. That's what today has been all about. Come on. Up you stay. Come on. Surfing over. No, that's better than... I was thinking, come on, in you get, and in, nice, really nice fish. Probably 19 anyway, gorgeous, just gorgeous. Well, that was cool guys. Um, again, find the depth and find the fish. Uh, you know, I got a cast out there and that first, he first went at it and I think was honestly maybe trying to kill it, just smacked it. And then that second cast that went in, he just came in and sucked it in. And yeah, that was that was wonderful. Um, I wanted a better fish today. So, hey, I've got some really good water ahead of me on this whole S bend and uh, we'll see it. It should, I would imagine it will produce another one. I'm hopeful, you know, again, it's like once you find the water, you go, yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful for this. And that's really cool. So we're excited to move along. I'm excited to move along. As Amelia let that good rainbow go, our landowner friend met up with us and invited us in for supper. It's always good to end the day on a high note and to put a hopeful step into the next day. And the next day, the second of our three day trip, was epic and will be its own video. So let's skip ahead to the morning of day three on the trip. It too was a short day as we headed home late afternoon. But the logical place to start was where I lost that good brown at the end of the first day. Wow, 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 it's windy. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. He's there. He's right behind it right now. He almost ate it and then refused it twice. Yeah. Might just put a streamer on through there. Crazy. Streamer time. You got him. Came right across. I can see the dark shape coming and it kept coming, it kept coming, kept coming. It was like, is he gonna eat it right here? He ate it right there. Yeah, right. Oh man. That's 
a gorgeous brown. Yeah, didn't he knows that damn hopper thingy wouldn't eat it and finally got him to chase on the first gas in the streamer he came all the way across the creek to eat that thing it's a gorgeous brown to start the day there we go wicked gorgeous fish wow is that fat Whew. nice that's gorgeous yeah okay down up yeah and and down down wow did he come right across the creek on that one that was cool gotta give it a go every rod length ish Waving a stick. Just throw it out there, hope for the best. That was a fish. As soon as it hit the water, he smashed it. Absolutely smashed it the second he hit that hit the water. Yeah, absolutely. It went smack and he went, thank you for breakfast. Yeah. Come on. Gorgeous fish. Nice. Whew. Yeah. A little weedy. Here we go. Wicked. All right, guys, I'm going to go at these banks with the uh, beetle pattern because beetle hopper, whatever you want it to be here, um, it's got legs, it moves like either and the point is that's a kind of a grassy bank and you know that in wind those are going to get you know thrown into the water and trout are going to eat them so even though yeah i swore i was only going to probably do streamers today while well, i'm changing my mind you gotta slow your cadence down smack there now twitch, twitch. Yeah. there we go and, twitch. and then let it sit a bit yeah, bring it Oh, there we go. Yeah, I got you, love. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. It's that pausing and then letting it be. Yeah. Hey, yeah. And okay. You I got you. Yep. 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 Fair <laughs> enough. Okay. Nitpick. Yes. I know. I can always count on Dave to nitpick. <laughs> yeah. Nice rainbow, guys. Sweet. And away he goes. Up, smack, twitch. Yeah, I don't think it's huge either, but he sucked it in, hey? Yeah. Similar fish, no, maybe bigger. bigger by a little bit for sure, but that's cool. By much? Well, maybe you're right, okay. It's hard to know initially. I can definitely feel it's a better fish now, obviously, because it's dogging me on the bottom here. And yeah, it Brown. is. Is it? No, no, no. I oh, might be right. I didn't see it as a brownie. No, it's a brownie. Oh, it is a brownie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just saw all the spots on that turn. 20-inch brown. Yeah. Sweet, man. Hey. Gorgeous fish. This is a gorgeous fish. Sure head shaking a ton, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, look at that thing. Beauty, eh? Way fatter than I was giving it credit for. Come on, surf it in, Mel. Surf it in, surf it in. Thing. Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, do you think? <laughs> wow, those yeah. those little suck in eats, you yeah. know, it's a funny thing because it's not like you know, we're used to seeing these heads. <laughs> yeah man. Gorgeous. Ready? Yeah, down. down, up, and then up. And down. down. Yep. Okay, here. Well, that was a really gorgeous brown guys and honestly kind of unexpected actually never caught a brown in this stretch um, when we fished here before but today that's that's cool now the other thing I just want to talk about is yeah I, I chose to switch up a eh, from the streamer to the beetle um, again this bank you know looking along it if I just show it to you you can see all the way along that opposite side is a really nice um, bank of grasses and you know, especially on this windy day too, that grasshoppers, which there's a ton of here, are getting blown in. 
and so yeah I mean it just you know it made sense to um, you know we're not seeing many rises doesn't matter these fish are gonna explode on that and the other big thing is just talking about hey the actual action and, and Dave was Dave was reminding me of this which was great uh, just you know smack it get it smacked on the water and then twitch it a couple times good couple pops actually almost you know it's not not really a drag but it's a pop that almost leaves a bubble in the water if you will and then let it sit because that fish took when it was just sitting so he had watched the action and then he came up for it and yeah it surprised me honestly you, you did I didn't think it was that big a fish truly I really didn't but then again some of these bigger fish when they take it in they just suck it in sometimes you know you're you're looking for that head uh, on some of these rises I am especially when it comes to sort of bigger browns male browns for sure right you're looking for a head but that's not the way they necessarily take beetles and hoppers they just like suck them in and so yeah anyway great fish moving on let's see if there's a few more here now I was trying to get something off of this bank no okay get up and over pick it up Freddy okay Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Pick it up. Pause. Oh, yeah. Oh, I am. Oh. Come on, fish. Yes, eat it. He ate it. Yes. Great fish. Oh, frick. Frick. Flock of ducks took off out of here while we walked up to the pool, so we'll see. In other words, the fish might not be where you'd expect it to be. There he is. I was looking upstream. Shouldn't have been looking upstream. I was looking up at the undercut up there. Yeah, sound at 14. There he is. Yeah, it sounded just like this. Yeah. It sounded just like this right here. Because it was the exact same sound. Yeah. Yeah. That's the benefit of these fish is they're not too shy right now. Yeah, maybe a bit more than 14. Oh, flies out. Wicked. Wicked. Take that back. Should have come over. <laughs> no kidding. That was a dumb, dumb move. Nice going, Dave. That's awesome fish. As I was saying, it was funny because we've been here, fished this bit six or seven times through the years, and it's always the person on this side that has to drop down and fish it. And yeah. This fish just came out. That's awesome. That beetle on the surface. What a great brown. I wasn't expecting much better. Love. Here you go. I know. Here we go. That's so go. awesome. Yeah, man. Hell yes. Yeah. Straight yeah. in. Yeah. Straight down. Here we go. Hey guys, so I was just laughing because Amelia was fishing this whole intern to casting out to the outturn. It's just a honey a piece of uh, bank, hey? And you look down at that, and she was casting from this bank across, across, across. And truth be told, that's what we always do. And whoever's on that side never catches a fish. I don't know why, but that trough there, we just cannot buy a fish through, I don't know, half a dozen times we've been here. And I was just saying to Amelia, well, it's always the person on this side that catches the fish anyways, because of these willows right here and as Amelia was just saying okay well you go ahead I'm not gonna catch fish anyway I take a cast smack it right at that dead willow uh, branch right through there and downstream at me brown trout I just smack it twitch twitch pause and that fish was on it and of course yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, you, you'd think we'd know by now hey love oh, it's like, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know you bothered fishing you yeah, should have exactly. said just go catch the fish Dave just yeah come over, you, no it's yeah. usually you on this side that's the funniest thing I always pound I that bag come over, but you oh know. yeah no as it turned out it was only five deep on you anyway yeah it was yeah, well 
Okay guys, so we got kind of a nicer narrow channel in here that's got a few um, deeper spots and I'm going to just try to pick those off as I go up here. Good chance something might come off of either bank where there is actual trough water or even just scream out to the middle to, to pick it off. So as I go up here, I'm just going to try to hit the spots and see what I can pick up. Okay, duck underneath this willow. Well, uh, this is the spot right in here, right down that seam. Oh yeah, come on, nice fish, nice fish. That's awesome. That was the spot, like I said, right off that corner and just a beautiful take from what looks to be a really fat, beautiful rainbow. Yeah, that was just stunning. Awesome, man, really awesome. Oh, it's pretty sinky, this mud in here, so hoping I can fight him from here. A lot of head shaking. See if I can bring him up in here. Yeah, surfing in, beautiful rainbow. Beautiful, beautiful rainbow. Come on. Just a heavy, heavy head to this. Hard to bring them up. Hard to surf them up, actually. Come on, bud. That's it, that's it, that's it. Come on, Mills, in the net. Come on. Ah. I can't lean forward any more than that. Come on. Surf them over. Surf them over. Bring them up. Bring them up in the net. Yeah, nice fish. Beauty. Fatty. What a fat, that's like a lake fish. That's really neat. That was really sweet, guys. I, I knew this point, okay? So again, points on a river. When you know there's a drop off, there's a point of grass here, can't miss it. And I know that there's a bit of a drop off zone in there and I just had to get a cast straight up into it and twitch it through and yeah, I knew there had to be someone come up and, and eat that eat that foam beetle so that was cool beautiful fat fat fish reminded me actually a lot of lake fish just the way its proportions were um yeah it's got to be feeding on a lot of minnows i would say but anyway gonna carry on i know there's other fish in here we go there's a fish yeah there's a nicer fish that's awesome had to be one I thought man Mills if you can just get a cast keep your back cast high which I finally did through there get a cast across into strip it, strip, strip. into kind of a couple feet off that far bank that I'd probably get into something and I did and that's cool no idea size I'm thinking somewhere in that 15 might not even be that much, but that's cool. Hey, a jumper. Haven't had too many of those, so that's really sweet. Have to be somebody along that. And it was exactly what my gut said, which was, hey man, get a cast closer to that bank. And sure enough. Come on, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. And in the net, yeah, that's nice. I think I say about 15 and Ah, maybe 14 but just a nice nice rainbow that's awesome beautiful fish pretty ah yes this pool I do like this one I think we've always got a decent fish out of here this next little stretch it's gorgeous though 
Yeah. Come on. I would have thought there for sure. Yeah, that's the brown. Right off the bank, just like a brown should be. Really nice fish. Yeah. That's a yeah, it is. Really gorgeous fish. That's yep. And in the shade, right? put it in the shade. What a gorgeous fish. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous yeah, fish. That's a stunner. Stunner. That's not a big, big sun. Yeah. A bit more on its head. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. Beauty. You got the whole yeah. thing? Yeah, I got the whole thing. Okay. It's gorgeous. Down. Down. Okay, so back at her. Let's see what happens here. I was more up here, wasn't I? Right about here? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if anybody else comes up. It's funny when that fish hit. Oh, yeah. I was just about to say that when that fish hit, I thought it was only about a 12 inch fish. And like this rainbow, the very next cast. Um, <laughs> Jeepers, hey? Eh? That's a good fish, too. That's going to be pushing 18 to 20. Jeepers. Just come saw like that, eh? Wow. Whew. He wanted that fly, though, let me tell you. It landed, and he just came flying at this thing. Come on. Wicked. Stunning fish. Stunner? What a stunner. Oh yeah. Okay. Here we go. Down. Up. Wicked. Wow. The light beams, they are pretty cool. Yeah, through the hay fields over there. Yeah. 